uh, right, all right. So we covered the journal entry in approval, but let's also explore the memorized journal entry. This is again a very cool feature of NetSuite, and uh, it's also available for with almost every transaction that we will we'll see in our next sessions or you know uh, in our O2C, P2P, whatever. So memorization means that uh, like you know if there are certain journal entries that you are posting on regular basis, let's say there is a rent expense that you post on uh, you know every month end and uh, if you want NetSuite to memorize that transaction and post it on your behalf rather than you doing it manually all the time you can use the memorize feature so all you need to do is memorize a transaction and NetSuite will automatically post it when the relevant time comes and uh, you know you don't have to worry about anything so that's that's how memorization works so let me just quickly you know make a copy okay uh, what you can also do with this journal entry, you go in action and there is an option called make a copy. So if I don't have to, you know, enter everything mm -hmm. manually, I can click make a copy. And this is going to create a complete copy transaction. Yes, yes. Here. Correct. Yes. And notice I did not have to put anything and everything was auto populated. So I can make any adjustments, I can do anything, mm -hmm. but yes. this is, this is you know, auto populated. Now let's let's assume that this is an expense that I do on monthly basis. This travel and entertainment expense. There is a an employee in my organization that every month and would go to India. So this is a regular journal entry for me, and I have to post it manually, right? So to automate this process, what I can do is I can go in actions and memorize. Okay, I click on this and memorization. Okay, oh, all right. I just need to review this. Right. Memorize. And here I am going to give a name, let's say, you know, travel expense journal entry. So this is a memorized transaction that I'm trying to make in NetSuite. Uh, sorry, travel expense to India monthly. Now, this is a monthly expense that happens in my organization. Now, there are three options that you have when you are trying to create a memorized transaction. Template only, automatic or reminder. Template only means that you are simply saving a template for yourself and you come up on that template later and you know adjust the amounts and do it everything manually. So it's just a, yes. a template that you make. Automatic means that this transaction is going to automatically be posted once the time comes. So let's say whatever the date that you set, maybe month end or start of the month or whatever, and based on the frequency, NetSuite will automatically post a new transaction every month uh, for you if you set it to automatic. Okay. And the reminder means that NetSuite will only remind you when the time comes or notify you that, you know, uh, you need to record a travel expense to India monthly because, you know, the time has come. Let's say, you know, 30th of each month you do this transaction. So NetSuite will only remind you, and then you have to manually post this transaction uh, uh, based on that reminder. So these are three options. Template template means just a skeleton template that, that you have to manually use and enter your amounts. Automatic means that it is going to automatically post in your journal ledger when the time comes, and reminder means only reminder as the name says, and you have to then you know manually post that transaction for you. So based on your preference, you can select you know the action. So let's say for the sake of demo, I'm going to put it to automatic. I mean, I want NetSuite to automatically post this transaction whenever the time comes. Oh, great. And here, okay. you can select your next so, date. Uh, yeah, one more thing here. Uh, as an end user, uh, you know, can we use automatic uh, option? Yeah, absolutely. You can use that. If you have the permissions to post transactions, you can do that. Okay. 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 Yeah. These these are all end user stuff. You know, this is not something that uh, like uh, you know someone from the management would be doing, or maybe you know the functional consultant would be doing. Uh, this is this process is just to make the life easier for the data entry user. So if you know, I, if I'm just yes. assume yourself as a as an accountant, right? If this is a journal entry that you make every month end, and you know there might be chances you might forget it, right? at any um, particular Correct. month. So this is just helping yes. you with your data entry process. That's all. So yeah, this is something that you would be doing as an end user. Okay, so, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
All right. So I'm going to be selecting automatic as an end user because I'm very confident that this is a monthly expense and this should be posted irrespective of my manual intervention. I'm going to select the next date. So this is the date on which the transaction is going to be posted. So let's say if I select 30th of November, automatically, uh, you know, this is going to be posted on 30th of November and prospectively, you know, uh, at the month uh, end uh, of next month as well. So I'm going to select my next date, the first transaction posting date as 30th of November. I need to post this on 30th of November. And uh, repeat every, how many how many repetition you need? I, I need to repeat every one month, okay? So I'm going to select my time period as month. I'm going to repeat at every one month. So now every month end, it is going to be, you know, repeated. And uh, remaining period, so how many number of months I need to post this transaction? Let's say this is uh, something that will be posted for next six months. So I'm going to select six over here. So once the six months are completed, okay. automatically this memorized transaction will uh, be uh, turned off. And if you need to post this for indefinite period of time, then you need to select indefinite. Now this is going to happen every month end unless you you know manually close this memorized transaction. So you can you can also select the number of periods uh, remaining. So. Consider yourself, let, let's okay. say some, there are some certain rent expenses that you need to post based upon the agreement rate. So based on the agreement months, mm -hmm. you can select them over here. So let's say, you know, let's say, you know, we have uh, discussed with the employee that we are going to send you to India for six months. So I'm going to select six. So mm -hmm. once this six months are completed, automatically this transaction will get off. So that's the whole concept of uh, remaining uh, number remaining. Does that make sense? So if it is for only one month, uh, we need to put as uh, uh, one month. Yep, you just need to select one year if it's for one month. If it's for okay. next three so months. If it is for last month, three. we need to select the date. Yes. Yep, that's right. That's right. So, so you are typically memorizing this transaction for the next three months. Just just keep that concept. So for the next yes. three months, you know this is going to be automatically yes, posted. No. Correct, correct. Yeah, it is a good option. Uh, I did not find this option, I know, uh, 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 while working right. as I do. Yeah, yeah. So once you're done what with this, you simply, you simply have to save this. Okay, it's going to give you a message that you are trying to, you know, create an automatically post, uh, you know, uh, memorized transaction. And you simply say, okay, yeah, I'm confident about this. I'm going to okay it. So there is option allow posting and logged uh, period. So if we click, uh, if I, if we mark uh, this option, so even uh, uh, you know yeah. according to period logged, uh, uh, even also this day will be post from the particular month. Exactly, exactly. If it if it's locked, okay. Now there is a difference between a locked period and a closed period. If it's a closed period, then okay. you cannot post it. If it's a locked period, then yes, you can do that. But for that, you know, you need uh, the, the relevant permissions in NetSuite as well. Uh, typically, you know, organizations would not be giving uh, access to their data entry user or end user to post anything even in the lock period. Because that would be like, you know, yes. uh, negating the overall concept of locking a period. So it, it would only be with the, you know, managerial positions or maybe, you know, with the CFO level to post anything in the lock period. But yeah, the concept is really, uh, uh, you know, correct. Uh, if you select allow posting in log period, then yeah, it would post, but then you have to have the relevant permissions on your role as well. It's important. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. So now, uh, you know, this memorized transaction is created. And uh, to review that, you can click on here, you know, you can display the memorized transaction from, click here. And this is uh, the memorized transactions. I'm just quickly going to go in transactions, management, memorized transactions, and list. And here I can see all the memorized transactions that I have done so far. And I'm going to find my uh, memorized transaction. This is this is the one. Travel expense to India monthly, right? And you can notice that my next date right now is 30th of November. So right now, today is 28th of November. So when 30th of November will actually come, this transaction will automatically be posted in your books. 
Correct. Okay. So right now today is 28th, yes. but next date is 30. So let's say, you know, uh, let's do this uh, activity manually. So I'm going to edit this. Mm -hmm. okay. um, just give me a sec. Yeah, so I'm going to enter this journal entry manually. Let's say I, I cannot wait for 30th of November to actually come before this is automatically posted. So I'm just doing this manually to show you how it will look. So I'm going to click on enter over here. Okay. The journal entry would, uh, you know, mm -hmm. open up in front of me. Again, the date is today 28th. So it's showing me 28th of November. So I'm going to click it to 30th mm -hmm. really quick. And review all the details and save this. Yeah, I'm just doing this manually in, in front of you right now, but NetSuite would do that automatically on 30th of November. So you don't have to worry about that. I, I just wanted yes. to show you just one thing here, you know, in transactions, management, memorize transaction list. Let's go back here. And here, the only thing that I wanted to show was now, since I have already posted my November transaction, my next date is now 31st of December. Notice? Okay. Yes. And my remaining period is, is now only two because I, I have only already posted one transaction. So now when 31st okay. of December will come, automatically this transaction will be posted and my next date would be 31st of Jan 2022. And my remaining period would, would be reduced to one. So that's that's the concept that will happen automatically now down the line. So this was something that I wanted to show you. And okay. this, is, this is how Memorize transaction works. Okay. So any questions? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, uh, to reversal the JE also, we can use this memorizer transactions option? No, no, you can't. Memorize transaction only works with the, uh, with the journal entries that does not have a reversal date. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. 